sheep of his pasture. You should have entered into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Anybody thankful? We came to bless his name for the Lord is good. His mercy brand new every morning and it's everlasting and his truth it endureth to all generations come on praise him I feel better now I feel better now hallelujah Yahweh we praise Yahweh Hey! 
to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. again, all the glory, all the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. All the glory belongs to you. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. praise. There's nobody like you, Jesus. There's nobody like you, Jesus. Nobody loves us like you, oh God. Nobody listens to us like you, oh God. Nobody cares about us like you, oh God. And for that, we give you praise. Father, we ask in the name of our Jesus that you tabernacle with us, that you inhabit our praises, that you walk among us that your spirit dwells with us today and we'll honor you father we thank you for being here you can be anywhere else jesus but we thank you for being here we love you sir have your way in and through us to god be the glory
everything that I got. Come on, somebody praise him. Everything that I got. Oh, come on, somebody praise him. Hallelujah. lift you up everything I got with everything I got with everything I got with everything that I got with everything I got with everything I got today. Hallelujah. Praise him because he's been good to you. Praise him because he's gave you another chance to say thank you. Praise him because he gave you another opportunity to come into the house of worship. Hallelujah. We praise you today, God, with everything that we have, everything that we've got. We praise you, hallelujah. The Bible declares that let everything that has the breath to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It wasn't predicated on how you felt. It wasn't predicated on what he had done for you. But it was a commandment to let everything praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. We thank him. We thank him for this opportunity. Hallelujah. You may be seated before the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. That's a good one. That's a good one to get us started. Hallelujah. Whatever thing I got. After all I've gone to, God, I'm going to praise you with everything I've got. Hallelujah. going to lift you up, Yes, God. Yes, God. Bless his name. Bless his name. Hallelujah. 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 Right there in that atmosphere, put your hands together and give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Oh, bless his name. Amen. Oh, my. Hallelujah. Mighty, mighty good spirit in this place. Amen. If we have any first-time visitors, would you wave your hand? We'd like to... Uh, Brother Winston, you're not a first-time visitor. Somebody go hug my brother. I didn't recognize him in his suit. <laughs> Amen. I got to get a picture with him today. He got a suit on. Hallelujah. Bless you, brother. Bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He normally comes and gives his service and help around the building and outside helping us out amen right. we're glad to see you in the house of the lord 
Hallelujah. Worshiping with us. Hallelujah. I said worshiping with us. Hallelujah. You never know who you might inspire, who you might encourage, who you might touch. Amen. Amen. Now give yourself a hand clap for coming to church this morning. Hallelujah. Some of you had to push to get here. Some of you, it was a struggle to get here. But now that you're here, yeah. oh Zion, yeah. come on and magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together for the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever and ever and ever and ever that's just a reminder to somebody that thought that he left you his mercy endured forever it says brand new mercies. Yes, Jesus. Brand new mercies. I see yeah. every morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we worship him and we magnify him. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to move on. Amen. There might be some words said today, some songs said that might move you, that might encourage you. And if that's you today and you hear that, and it encourages you, it touches you, it moves you to be a blessing to sow and stand on that word today. Bring your seed to the altar. Go back believing that God has already done just what he said he would do. Hallelujah. We ask that you would not leave before the benediction. And we would like to remind you that the offering is given at the end of this service. Amen. We also would like to just thank you and welcome you for coming again. Before we make this move, won't you put your hands together for my pastor, Reverend Ken Moss. Hallelujah. 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 The elder and the pastor of this campus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lady Moss. Amen for your presence this morning. Come on. Come on, let's get Lady Moss. Hallelujah. Bless you. Amen. And then we will not, we cannot forget about our bishop that covers us. Hallelujah. Bishop Mark C. McGuire. Hallelujah. In his absence while he's on his assignment. Amen. And we want to let you know we love you, Bishop. Some of us will be there with you real soon. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yeah. Amen. God is a good God. Even if the world don't believe it, I'm a living witness that he's still good in spite of what it looks like. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray, Father God. We love you, we magnify you, we thank you, we glorify you for this morning, God, for what our hearts have already felt and what you've already done in this, God, in this place, God. Right now, we pray, Lord, that you would continue to move, that you would continue to bless those that would enter into these doors, God. We pray, Lord, that your word might be a blessing to someone, Lord, that someone might even get saved by the foolishness of preaching today. God, Lord, we lift up our man of God that will bring your word. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand and clap of praise. Hallelujah.
know me You are awesome Wonder, help me say Provider, provider Defender, defender Master of Master of the universe You know me You know me
worship him, somebody say, oh. Toward me, I like that part that says toward me. Yeah, it's towards you. It's towards me. Oh, he has me on his mind. He has not forgotten about you or me. No, he hasn't. I. Oh, he's awesome. 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 Oh, he's awesome. God is 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 awesome. Satan's defeated. God is awesome. Satan's defeated. God is awesome in this place. 
place, in this place, in this place. Come on, come on. Don't let Satan have your praise. Come on, somebody. Worship the true and living God. Yes.
Put your hands together. Come on, I dare you to give God a praise. I dare you to give God a praise. Hallelujah! Give God a praise. name is Jesus. Ha! Glory to God. His name is Jesus. Oh, bless his name. My God, my God. knowing as awesome this morning do you know him as awesome wonder my God how appropriate how appropriate how appropriate Glory to God. That's who he is. That's who he is. That's who he is. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Jesus. We're going to get to the announcements. But we're going to honor him first. We're going to honor him first. Wonder. 
Hallelujah. Snatch me out of the Marvin Clary. Place me on a rock to stay. His name is Jesus. That's why we praise him. That's why we glorify him. My friends, if nothing makes you excited, you ought to get excited about the name of Jesus. For it has, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, the enemy would have swallowed us up a long time ago. But because of Jesus and his saving blood, hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody just say thank you. Can you just say thank you? Can you just say thank you? may be seated in the presence of the Lord if you can if you can if you want to you don't have to because I don't know what you came here to do today but I came to lift up the name of Jesus I came to lift him up hallelujah his name is Jesus Oh, what an awesome wonder. <laughs> what an awesome wonder. What an awesome wonder. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Put your hands together and give God a praise for our praise team. Come on, give God glory for the praise team. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey Amen. We're going to hit one more. We're going to have another selection from you. Is that right? We're going to have another selection after the other week. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Let me tell you something. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to the, we're gonna get to the announcements. Amen. But we, but we need to get away from church as usual. We, 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 we need to get away from tradition. And when, when, look at, when the Spirit is moving, join the Spirit of God, glory to God. Join the Spirit of God. Because God is doing something. God is doing something. I don't know. Somebody in here been praying. Somebody in here been believing God. Somebody here been calling on the name of Jesus. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep trusting God. Keep believing God. That what you've been praying for is here. It's here. It's here. Hallelujah. We're gonna get I'm gonna get through these get through these these, these announcements. Amen. Uh, we're gonna get, we're gonna say the announcements, amen. But I thank God for the announcements. 
But I, but I look at I'd rather just go ahead and stay where we are. I mean, for real, for real. Uh, but, but, you know. Who says this? I am, man. Amen. Amen. Noonday Bible study on Thursdays has, has resumed uh, for the last couple of weeks. We're meeting every Thursday at noon here in the sanctuary. Invite someone to come out on your lunch break, wherever you are. Amen. Come out and then join us in the word of the Lord. We're having a wonderful time. Amen. Talking about, amen, the word of God. Amen. And allowing God to pour into our lives. A noonday Bible study Thursday. We look forward to having you here. Amen. 12 noon from 1, from 12 to 1. Also be reminded, amen, on Sunday mornings, foundation class is still going on. We need, <laughs> hey, you talking about the word of God. You talking about the who have not, even if you've been through foundation class, I dare you to come and sit in on the Holy Ghost, glory to God, on Sunday morning, 9 o'clock, in the McLaughlin Hall upstairs. God's got a blessing waiting on you, amen, in foundation class, amen. Elder Lonzo, amen, is taking us, come on, give God glory, is taking us to the throne room of God, <laughs> hallelujah, for the precious word of God, amen. He is, amen, his father's son for real. You want to hear, y'all say, y'all miss Bishop, honey, y'all miss Bishop. You miss Bishop, come on, we miss him, we miss Bishop. A amen, come see Bishop, amen, <laughs> glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah, <laughs> and foundation plan. That brother, amen, the spirit of the Lord is on him, amen. The bishop DNA is in this brother, and he is letting it flow in foundation class. We want you to come and join us, amen. Amen. I've been blessed. I've been in there every week for the last couple of weeks. Amen. I'm going every. I told my wife, I'm going to be in foundation class every Sunday. Hey, I want to hear what God has to say. Glory to God. Amen. Foundation class, we want you to come out. How many of you were here on yesterday? Glory to the Lord. Come on, put your hands together for Minister Veronica and all the ministry assistants, glory to God, who were here on yesterday, made this a, a success in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, glorify God for yesterday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you were not here, I hate to tell you, glory to God, you missed a fine time in the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for all of our partners. Hallelujah. The Kettering Healthcare Health Network. Come on. Kettering Seven Day Adventist Church, Pastor Alex and her team. We had doctors from Sycamore, glory to God. Come on, put your hands together. We had nurses, glory to God, doctors from Grandview Hospital. We had folk from all around the city, glory to God. Right here at the Potter's House, Dayton International Ministry, giving God praise, glory to God, for a healthy community. Hallelujah. And God has entrusted the Potter's House. Dayton International Ministries under the auspice of our overseer, Bishop Dr. Mark C. McGuire Sr. Come on, Holy Ghost. Give God a praise for the vision of our Bishop, Bishop Mark McGuire. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Relationships fostered in the Lord. We've seen a mighty move of God. I'm talking about in the rain. Glory to God. We've seen God hold back the rain. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We seen folk get prayed for. We seen folk being healed. We seen folk, amen, being rushed to the doctor, uh, to the hospital because we had doctors on the scene, glory to God, who said, you can't wait another minute. You got to go. Had a doctor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish, amen. I, I am the pastor now, right? Amen. So, I, I, well, come on, hold go. Mr. Pam just reminded me, you are the pastor. <laughs> Amen. So I'm going to take a little liberty right here. We had a doctor here from India uh, out of Sycamore Hospital. And they were back in the, 
doing what they do, giving the screenings and ministering to people. And there were two young ladies, amen, who from, from our community uh, whose blood pressure was, uh, was, was high. I mean, it was so high that it was, it, was, it, was, uh, it was imminent that we got them to the hospital quickly. And we had doctors on the scene, glory to God, who could make an assessment and a determination. And the doctor said to me, she said, well, I'm going to follow them home so they can take the cars home. I said, well, they can leave the cars here in the parking lot. Amen. I said, no, we, I want to drive my car home, Pastor. <laughs> but the doctor said, I'll follow them home. This is the doctor. Not, not from this community. She said, I'll, she said, look, I'll follow them home in my van and bring them back to the Amlam sitting out here on the, on the sidewalk. We're waiting on the Amlam driver to get back to run them to the hospital. That's how serious it was. And we waited and we waited and the ambulance driver was on another run with another ambulance so he couldn't get back in time. So the doctor said, she said, well, Pastor, don't worry about it. She, she pulled up Grandview on her phone and said, it's only 10 minutes away. Let's put him in my van. I'm going to drive him to the hospital myself. Y'all ain't hear me. And the doctor and one of the nurses, amen, got them ladies in the van after taking them home and bringing them back and took them to Grandview Hospital that they might be treated, amen, in the Lord. Can you say hallelujah? These are the type of relationships, amen, that the Holy Spirit has allowed this house to foster and to develop and to build and to have, amen, amen, that out of all the churches in the city where they could have went anywhere, glory to God, to do this health fair, amen, but they have chosen the Potter's House Dayton International Ministries because they recognize, hallelujah, the power of the Almighty God on this house and in this community and on our bishop. I dare you to give God a praise for what God is doing in this community. Give God a praise, glory to God. This to God be the glory that he would love us as much as he does that folk would want to come from around this city and spend their Saturdays with us honoring the Lord our God. What a mighty God would say. So how appropriate, Minister Pam, that he is indeed an awesome wonder. Thank God for all of our friends from around this city who've come and, and was with us on yesterday. A fire department. Emergency ET, ES, ETM, what, what, what do you call it? What, ES, what is it? Amen, y'all, amen, y'all, amen. Sheriff's Department, local officials, people from around the city believe in us, and they're excited for what God is doing for this house. Paulus House family, meet the enthusiasm. Meet the excitement that the people of God has for you. We ought to be excited for ourselves and what God is doing. Amen. The people in the community shouldn't be more excited about us than we are about God in this house. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. So we thank God for all of those here at the Potter's House who showed up and stepped up and showed yourself, amen, the true man, woman of God that you are. You were phenomenal on yesterday, and I want you to know how much we love you and thank you, and Bishop sends his love, because I told him, glory to God, how great you were on yesterday. And we honor you, we thank God for your service unto the Lord, amen. Please be sure to get your God is good t-shirt from our brother Tony Baxter amen sizes XS to 5X hallelujah I had mine on yesterday amen brother Tony Baxter amen I, 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 I can't claim but I amen amen Deacon 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 Tony Baxter Amen. He was, he, was, he, was here, he was here serving on yesterday. 
And I don't know what it is, but it's something about it's something about the brother when he get around certain when he get around certain folk. And he just starts sweating, his head starts sweating, and I'm like, you all right? We got to put you in the ambulance? Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. He get around certain folk. Amen. He just, he, he just get a little excited. Glory to God. But he was on his job yesterday, phenomenal job yesterday, uh, 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 Deacon. We thank God for you. Deacon Marcus, we thank God for you, your family, your son. Where's your son at? Where's your son at? He's on po- Let's give God a praise for that young man. Give God a praise for Deacon Marcus' son. Phenomenal young man. Great job on yesterday. He's just really been stepping up in the house. We thank God for him. And he has a great example in his mom and his dad. We thank God for him. Come on. Give God praise for the young man. He was here all day yesterday and allowed God to use him. We thank God for you, young man. We bless God for you. Hallelujah. We believe in great things for your future. Amen. In the name of Jesus, for you and all of our young people that were here on yesterday. Amen. Phenomenal job. Women of Empowerment, the Daughters of the King, will meet this Saturday at 5 p.m. Amen. If you are part of that team, we want all the women in the house, amen, to meet the Daughters of the King this Saturday, amen, at 5 p.m. Hallelujah. Lady uh, Moss wants you to know that she'll be here. Amen. Amen. We thank God for her. Hallelujah. Amen. She she was on the welcome table yesterday. Amen. And her and Sister Moss, Sister Parrish. Amen. We thank God for that. Amen. They all, everybody chipped in and really made the house look good for Jesus. We thank God for that. Seniors Ministry, we're looking for compassionate and caring people to assist with the wonderful and much needed ministry. If you're interested, please see Minister Patsy Davis. Amen. Mom, wave your hand, Mom. Amen. Patsy Davis. Amen. Sister Shawana Mackey or Sister Iris Lattimore. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank God for our seniors, and we're looking for those who would be interested. Amen. In assisting them. Amen. To show love uh, to our seniors around this community. Amen. Be reminded, amen, on Friday, April 27th from 1 to 4 p.m., we will have our Restored Citizens Safe Haven Summit, amen, right here at the Potter's House, down in the Fellowship Hall. Uh, All of those that have been impacted by the criminal justice system, amen, if you've ever had any type of run-in with the law, amen, and you know someone having a hard time, amen, still having barriers, getting jobs or employment, hallelujah, housing, transportation, we want you to invite them to be here with us on April the 27th from 1 to 4 p.m. for our Restored Citizen Safe Haven Summit. Amen. We've got numerous resources that will be here. Hallelujah. We have great uh, employers here to offer job opportunities, and we want them to be here. Amen. That we might pour into the life and that we might share the love of God with them. Amen. Those who have been impacted by the criminal justice system returning home, no matter how long they've been out, no matter how, how, how early they just got out last week or they've been out 10 years, we want them here. Amen. We believe we got something for them that will assist them and help them have a smooth transition back into this community and be powerful. Amen. For the Lord. Can you say amen? You know, every opportunity, everything that we do in this house, men and women of God, is to give God glory. Our first priority, amen, is to see souls won to Jesus. Hallelujah, amen. That's, that's, that's it. Our first priority. We, we're, not looking, we're not looking for fame or glory. We're not looking for a church membership. We're not, we, we would love to have it. We thank God for it, but that's not what we're looking for. Our first priority is to see people won to the kingdom of God. That's where our heart is. That's where our bishop's heart is. And that's where uh, the CFI, uh, Bishop Von McLaughlin from Potter's House International Ministries, that's the heart of this ministry, that souls for Jesus will be one. Hallelujah. So when you're inviting people to come to church, we, we thank God for that, but, but, but invite them to come to know Jesus. Invite them to know this awesome wonder that we're singing about, that cause, that brings us to tears. That they too can enjoy the peace of God, the love of God, the grace of God. The Potter's House International Ministries 30, 40 anniversary is coming up. 
If you're interested in going on the trip, please meet immediately after service right here in the sanctuary. Travel arrangements and other accommodations need to be solid. We need to take care of that today. Hallelujah. If you're going to Jacksonville, Florida, amen, with the A-team, come on, Holy Ghost, you need to see us today, glory to God, right after service. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor, uh, Pastor, I call Sister Tia, Pastor, amen. Come on, Holy Ghost. <laughs> Sister Tia, ready for work classes are in session. Please see her, amen, if you're interested in being a part of people ready to work. Amen. They meet here every Tuesday. Hallelujah. And uh, she is the person to get in touch with, amen, if you're interested in finding employment and being trained, amen, with some soft skills, amen, people ready to work right here at the Potter's House Dayton International Ministry. Our job fair, spring, April 25th, 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock p.m. We'll be here. Amen. See the flyers. We'll have flyers going out. Another job fair. Amen. Another opportunity. Amen. To be blessed in this community. Continue to pray. Amen. For our sick and our shut-in, our bereaved and the families. Please remember uh, uh, our elders. Uh, Elder, uh, Elder Mo, keep him in your prayers. Remember Doc Bev, Chief Elder Doc Bev. Uh, remember her. Don't forget about our elders. Don't forget about uh, the people of God that God has used and called to labor among us. Amen. That we might keep the church healthy and, get, and keep the church inspired with the word of God. Amen. The love of God. Pray for our second shut-in. Call those that you know that are not here. Amen. That you know that they're going through something in their families. Remember Sister Anita. Don't forget about her. Come on, Holy Ghost. Don't forget about her family. Call her up. Amen. She's here. She's worshiping. She blessed her. She on assignment. But her heart is still heavy. Come on, Holy Ghost. Amen. Her mama went home to be with the Lord. Amen. But she's here every Sunday. She's here blessing the Lord. She was here on yesterday. Glory to God. Giving God praise. Hallelujah. The work goes on. Hallelujah. But we still remember those among us who are hurting. Let her know how much you love her, how much you're praying for her and her family. Amen. Amen. Any birthdays, any anniversaries, amen, that we need to acknowledge today. Any birthdays and anniversaries, amen. We thank God for you. We love you. We're going to get uh, one, we're one word away, amen. We got a few moments. I know I took a little bit more time than what we should have, amen. Uh, but I promise you, amen, uh, I'm not going to keep you long. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. I was just informed, amen, that Bishop Vaughn McLaughlin from the Potter's House International Ministries in Jacksonville, Florida. His birthday is April the 20th. Amen. Come on. Let's, let's fellowship. Let's bless the Lord for his birthday. And we're going to look here. I, I, I bring a seed with you, amen, on next Sunday. This Sunday and next Sunday. Amen. Hey, Deacon. Deacon. Before we leave today, make sure we put that out, amen. We want to be a blessing to our bishop, our grandfather in the ministry, amen. We want to make sure we give a birthday seed for him and let him know how much we love him. We'll do that this Sunday. We'll do it Wednesday, and we'll do it on next Sunday, amen. Come on, put your hands together for Bishop Vaughn McLaughlin and Lady Narlene down in Jacksonville, Florida. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right, we're one word away. There is a word from the Lord, amen. I, I, I don't know how, amen, the, uh, the, the anointing of God that's in this place right now. Uh, Y'all got to pray with me, amen, that, amen, that I, I'll stick to the message. Uh, amen, don't get carried away. I'm excited right now. Y'all already know. But we thank God, amen. Uh, greet your neighbor, love on your neighbor. Tell them, amen, that we're one word away. Let somebody know how much you love you and that you're glad that they're here.
you gotta see the word to speak the word to life. It's in the book, look, read the verses twice. You can possess the best of the best, and yes, if you confess it, it could be yours unless you don't believe. But we got faith that we speak life. I wish that y'all could see your face, cause I see prosperity, greatness all over you. Just speak it and God will start showing you. Your ministry is built on faith. Your talent about to be booked for 12 months straight. See, certain levels was unreachable, but if you just speak it, who am I preaching to? I'm not here to rap, I'm just teaching you. The word works, but first you gotta speak it to. Your life, every goal is still achievable. So believe and receive and release it right now. One word away. You sing it One word away. Yeah. Put your hands together. You say.
God a praise. Come on, give him a praise. Flowing from the issues of my heart. Flowing from, come on, yeah. my heart. 
Come on, talk to him, talk to him. Are the issues of my heart? Say it again. Stand with us, grab your Bibles, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to ask you to hold them up, amen. On the screen, glory to God. Oh, how, how beautiful you sound this morning. How beautiful you look. You look, you look at, you wear the anointing well, my friends. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold them high. Hallelujah. It's on the screen, glory to God. This is the word of God. The word that saves and heals. It is the blueprint to my destiny. Today, I stand here in agreement with the truth that sanctifies because of the blood of Jesus the Christ. It is the unchangeable, the unshakable, the unstoppable word of grace. The word that redeems and releases all my miracles I'm not just a hero but I am a doer I am the church of God I take action I will apply this word and I will I will I promise I will manifest in Jesus name somebody give God a glory Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Our focal pericopes are going to be this morning. Glory to God. We're going to move right into the, the message. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Glory to God. Isaiah 66 verses 1 through 5. According to the Amplified and 1 Corinthians, amen, 15, 1, 3, and 4, according to the message. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. Uh-huh, he's here, he's here. Isaiah 66, 1 through 5. Reads as follows. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me and where is the place of my rest? For all those things have my hand made and all those things have been, have, I'm sorry, have been, saith the Lord. All those things have been made, <clears throat> been, I'm sorry, verse 2, for all those things have my hand made, and all those things have been, saith the Lord, but to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. 
He that killeth an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sanctifieth a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offereth an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. He that burneth incense as if he blessed an idol. Yea, they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delighteth in their abominations. I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before my eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. Hear the word of the Lord, you that tremble at his word. Your brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my namesake, said, let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. Can you say amen? 1 Corinthians 15, 1, 3, and 4, according to the message. Resurrection. Friends, let me go over the message with you one final time. This message that I proclaimed and that you made your own, this message on which you took your stand and by which your life has been saved, I'm assuming now, amen, that your belief was the real thing and not a passing fancy, that you're in this for good and holding fast. The first thing I did was place before you what was placed so empathetically before me, that the Messiah died for our sins, exactly as the scripture tells it, that he was buried and that he was raised from the death on the third day. Again, exactly as scripture says, that he presented himself alive to Peter, then to his closest followers, and later to more than 500 of his followers all at the same time. Most of them still around, although a few since have died. That he have spent time with James and the rest of those he commissioned to represent Represent, come on, somebody. Y'all supposed to say amen. I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to get your bishop here. Bishop, he said, represent and represent, amen, himself. Y'all made me lose my place trying to get y'all to catch up. Come on, Holy Ghost. <laughs> amen. Amen. That he then spent time with James and the rest of those he commissioned to represent him, and that he finally presented himself alive. To me, somebody say to me, it was fitting that I bring up the rear. I don't deserve to be included in that inner circle. So I don't deserve to be included in his inner circle. As you well know, having spent all those early years trying my best, come on, come on to stop out God's church right out of existence. Is anybody true in the house that can admit, amen, that we was a part of that group, amen, that we didn't have Jesus on our mind all the time? And we were doing everything we knew, amen, to stomp out the word of God that others wouldn't follow him, but they'll follow us. Come on, Holy Ghost. Amen, as you be seated, welcome my wife, Isabel Moss, amen, first lady to the house of God. We thank God for you. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't know about you, my friends, but I, I, I you know, I, I am so thankful and so grateful. The song selection for this morning, Minister Pam, has been, can I, can I say off the hook? <laughs> Glory to God. I mean, what a mighty God we serve. I mean, every week after week, amen, the Spirit of the Lord, the anointing of God shows up in our praise team, and we thank God for how they usher the Holy Spirit in this house. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Minister Pam. Bless the Lord. 
Hallelujah. We thank God. Amen. I, I want to do one thing, amen, before we get into this word. I, I, I just want to do it, amen. I just feel it in my spirit, amen. Can you put your hands together, amen, open your mouth as loud as you can and give God a glory for being all in in Jesus' name. Come on. Is there anybody in the house that is all in for Jesus? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Just if we could put, amen, a word, amen, a title on the word, amen, the word of God don't need a title, amen, but that we might kind of articulate it, amen, the way the Lord has given it to us, amen. I just want you to think on this, on this thought this morning. I'm all in on purpose. Is there anybody all in purposefully? On purpose. I mean, you all, like you all in this thing on purpose. Amen. Ain't no mistake. Amen. That you stumbled up in here. Glory to God. You on purpose this morning. All in. Amen. What a mighty God. We thank God. Amen. We give God glory. Amen. This morning, for Amen. Our Amen. Our five paradigms of transformation. Amen. And because we're all in this morning. Amen. We are right now in the Gem City, uh, here on the west side of Dayton. Amen. We're all in because we are what? We are discipling nations. Glory to God. We're reclaiming the marketplace. We're worshiping on the go. And guess what? We're invading the kingdom of darkness. If you didn't know, glory to God, on yesterday, amen, we invaded the kingdom of darkness on yesterday. Sunday after Sunday, Wednesday after Wednesday, day after day, amen, Monday at Young Life, every week, every day of the week, we are invading, hallelujah, the kingdom of darkness, amen, and we're working to eliminating systemic poverty in this 417 area. Somebody ought to give God glory, ought to give God a shout of praise, hallelujah, because it's his work and he's doing it, hallelujah, through us. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. We got to get excited, glory to God, about the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a song, amen, that, uh, uh, that really has blessed my spirit on this morning. Amen. As the elders, hallelujah, came up, amen, and, and began, we began to lift up the name of the Lord in prayer, amen, and we, we began to, amen, just, uh, just to honor the Lord because we heard the praises going on down here in the sanctuary, glory to God. And it, the, the, the song was, draw me nearer, Lord Jesus, draw me, draw me nearer. Uh, uh, draw me. Let me. Can I? Can I just? Let me. Let me. For, just in case, for those who don't know, draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where Thou hast died. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to Thy precious bleeding side. Consecrate me now, glory to God, to Thy service. Lord, by thy power of grace divine, let my soul look up with a steadfast hope, glory to God, and my will be lost in thine. Is there anybody in the house this morning, hallelujah, that's all in for Jesus? You want to draw near to the Lord. Hallelujah. What a powerful, powerful word. Draw me near. That's my prayer. And as we looked out, amen, over last evening here on this, on this grounds, amen, of this campus, the Potter's House Dayton International Ministry, amen, from, from where you, from everywhere you can look, amen, cars all over the place, people all over the place, amen, just enjoying the presence of the Lord all in the house, glory to God, doctors, nurses, people from the community, children, students, medical students, and all kind of folk all in through the house, glory to God, and all I kept hearing in my spirit is God was drawing people. God is drawing people. It's not, amen, we don't, amen, do uh, all the things in this community, uh, number one, because we're trying to draw people to ourselves. Uh-huh. But we do what we do, amen, because number one, we've been called on assignment. 
hallelujah, to bless the people of God, to fellowship with the people of God, to minister with the people of God, and to proclaim the good news to the people of God, to those that are lost, to those who are broken, to those who have a contrite spirit. We've been called to be all in. We've been called, my friends, to be the church of God, the body of Christ. That's who we are. We've been called, amen, to be an example, to model the way that others might come to know our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, in a real and personal way. Can you say amen? I'm getting a little ahead of myself already, amen, but that's all right. And so I'm thankful this morning. I don't know about you, hallelujah, but uh, we're seeing change take place in the potter's house. I heard my elder say this morning, glory to God, that the transition has occurred. I said it's occurred. And because it's occurred, uh, there's only one thing for us to do. We got to move on. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. We, we, got, we got to move on because there's still, there's, somebody said there's still work to do. There's still lives to be won to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And so I, I want to encourage you, my friends, that we're seeing change take place in our lives and around this community in Jesus' name. Don't be confused, my friends. Fathers and mothers, sons and daughters are coming out of darkness and they're coming into the marvelous light. Hallelujah. You ought to get on your feet and give God praise for that. We said, well, how do you know, Elder? How do you know, Pastor Moss? How do you know fathers and mothers are coming out of darkness? How do you know sons and daughters are coming out of darkness into the marvelous light? Just look around. He brought me out. The fact that you're here, he brought you out. And some of us, he's still bringing out, glory to God. We ought to give God praise for bringing folk out of darkness into the marvelous light. One of the things, amen, that we ought to glorify God about is that on yesterday, everybody and their mama was here, glory to God. And that's not a disrespect. That's a, that's a glory. That's a glory to God because we don't know who showed up on here yesterday. There were some folk, amen, who may have never stepped foot in a praise and worship team, in a praise and worship service, but they heard, glory to God, the music of God. They heard the people of God. They had folk who was attentive to their felt need, glory to God. And they came. And when they came, they saw the love of God, the hand of God, the feet of God in action right here at the Potter's House Dayton International Ministries. I don't know about you, my friend, but that's something to shout about. That's something to give God glory for. He brought me out. Glory to God. I, I, listen, listen, I don't understand how we sit so quiet when we know God brought us out. I mean, I mean, he brought us out. I mean, I, th I thought about that thing. I mean, I remember when I was sitting in solitary confinement. I remember. I remember sitting in solitary confinement. Glory to God. I remember talking to a seller. Glory to God. Who had lost his mind playing with a fly in the commode. Glory to God. He brought me out. And some of us, glory to God, if we're honest about it and transparent this morning, you know God done brought you out of some things and some places and some situations and some relationships. I can't help but be all in. He brought me out. Amen. And what I like about him is he didn't stop there. There's some things he's still bringing me out of. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing. 
Y'all ain't gonna say that. Okay, I know. I know I'm talking to a holy church right now, but, but I don't. But, but is there five of us in the house? Amen. There's some still some things God bringing up out of you. Are there still some things He's drawing out of you? Draw me nearer, Lord, <laughs> to that bleeding side. He's drawing some things about us. Amen. Even yet now, that we might be close to Him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, Isaiah 66, 1 and 2. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where, hallelujah, is the house that you're supposed to build? I mean, well, I, I hear God saying that. Uh, uh, where is the place of my rest? I, I mean, I mean, the, the earth is my footstool. The universe, I created it. Uh, you can't build a house that I don't already have. Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Can you say amen? He said, but I'll tell you what you can do, amen. Uh, uh, instead of amen, trying to see who can dress the best, trying to see, amen, who can, who can look the best. And who, uh, instead of trying to be so religious, uh, uh, amen, I, I kind of feel, I feel a little bad. I, I, I feel a little bit convicted, amen, because the bishop, he blessed me with some, with some, with some, with some y'all see my new hand. One new thing. <laughs> Amen. And, and, uh, and I'm thinking, why come Bishop didn't take that down over there and pray? These are nice, praise God. And, uh, and, 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 I, and, and, and I was told, Amen, because uh, Bishop Vaughn McLaughlin, he, he ain't into all the, the, the you know, the, he, he don't care, you know, you don't see Bishop Vaughn with all this stuff. And so I'm, I, you know, I'm thinking, like, but I like to dress nice, though, you know. And Bishop knows my heart. Bishop knows I like to dress nice. He, he, well, he blessed me, Amen. But, but how many of you know God ain't interested in this? This is man. Let's look at this is flesh. Now I'm gonna look at. See, I'm gonna keep it real with you because look at the, the, look at the Holy Ghost ain't told me to put this on. Uh, all y'all from uh, I, I don't put nothing on unless God told me. You lying, and the truth ain't in you. You, you lying, truth ain't in you. The Holy Ghost ain't told me to put this on. I put this on because I wanted to look nice for my wife and I wanted to look nice for the people of God. I like looking nice. But God ain't interested in this. And, and, so, and, so, and, so, and so God is saying, look here, wh wh what can you build? You can't dress it up enough, glory to God, that's going to suffice me. What I'm looking for, if the Lord said, he said, what I'm looking for is for those, hallelujah, watch this. He said, uh, for those things that, have, that my hand have made and for those things that have been said the Lord, but to this man what I look for, this is the one I'm looking for, somebody who is poor and of a contrite spirit. I'm looking for somebody, amen, who will tremble at my word. I'm looking for somebody, amen. I'm looking for somebody, amen, that when I speak, glory to God, it causes you to tremble. When I speak, glory to God, it causes you, amen, to tremble. That's what's wrong with the church, I think, amen. Not just this church, but the church universal. Folk ain't afraid of God no more. We take God for granted. We don't respect our natural father. We don't respect our heavenly father. We don't tremble at his voice. There was a time, glory to God, for the old mothers of the church would say, tremble, tremble. When God spoke, it causes them to tremble. They wouldn't move until he said to move. They labored at the altar all night long. Because when he spoke, it causes us to tremble. What does that mean? It ought to cause us, amen, to stop 
and listen and take notice. What is it that the master wants to say to me? We've gotten used, amen, to hearing folk just talking out the side of the neck, saying all kind of stuff. And we say, oh, that ain't nothing but Kenny. He, he just being Kenny. That, that, ain't nothing, that, ain't nothing but, that ain't nothing but Ray Ray. That's Ray Ray, girl. He ain't, he ain't talking about nothing. That ain't nothing but the bishop, amen. That ain't nobody but Mark, amen. <laughs> that ain't nobody but Mark, amen. Silk, you remember Silk, amen. He ain't talking about nothing. And the voice of God is speaking through him. Through the woman of God, the man of God, the person of God. And we've got so accustomed, amen, to just brushing it off. Ah, uh, he ain't talking to me. Don't me. That ain't for me. Girl, I ain't going down there. They talking about the same. He still talking about transition. Don't miss God in the transition. Yeah, he still, that's what he's talking about. He's still talking about. Oh, girl, I'm, I ain't going down here. That's all he's talking about. I ain't going down there. Look here. And the voice of God is speaking. I ain't just coming up with nothing. Look at, look at, I got better things to do than to come to this church and try and talk to a folk, amen, that don't want to hear nothing I got to say. But because God has called me and appointed me, I got to say what he told me to say. And he told me to tell you, glory to God, that this is a series. Don't miss God in the transition. Are you all in for him? Part three. That's what he said. Are you all in for him? And if we're all in, we have to learn how to take notice to the voice of God. Because God is speaking to us. He has a whole lot to say. And as Bishop once said, amen, one reason why we can't hear God speaking because we're still trying to hear, remember what he said. And he said that, that was for that season. He's saying something else now. Can you hear what the Lord is saying to the church? The person I'm looking for is somebody who is poor in spirit. That don't mean you ain't got no money. That don't mean, amen, you homeless. And you got to act like, you know, walk around here like you, you know. No, clean yourself up, wash yourself up, put some nice clothes on, glory to God, and give God a praise, hallelujah, and humble thyself in the sight of the Lord that he might lift you up. Poor in spirit. Humility, humble before the Lord. He said, I'm looking for somebody, hallelujah, who is poor in spirit and who has a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. Isaiah began this summary of his prophecy with a reminder that God is not looking for a temple of stone. We thank God for the potter's house. But God ain't looking for this. And y'all didn't say nothing. Does he hold it? Someone hold a lot of us. I mean, we love the potter's house. We should love the potter's house. But this ain't, this is, this is, this is, this is the Ephesus. We enter in here to worship, but, but, but we can worship God. Matter of fact, we ought to be worshiping God in the marketplace. We ought to be worshiping God on the job. We ought not have to wait till Sunday morning to come to church and be among the saints and show how holy we are, glory to God. We ought to be worshiping the Lord, glory to God, out there with the heathens. Letting them know that Jesus still saves. He brought me out, he can bring you out too, glory to God. Now 
I ain't let nobody say, he called the people a heathen. No, look at I was a heathen. Talk about me first. He, I said he brought me out. I was heathenistic. I was a liar, a cheater, and a manipulator. I was wrong coming and I was wrong going. And if it had not been for the grace of the Lord right now today, I'll still be wrong. Dying in my sin. And while you judging me, glory to God, it takes one to know one. I love you. God know I do. So God's not looking for a temple of stone. Since as creator of all things, the whole universe is his dwelling place. Stephen cited this passage because the Sanhedrin to point out their error in limiting God to a temple made with hands. Heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What house will you build me, saith the Lord, according to Acts 7, 49 and 50? Or what is the place of my rest? Have not my hand made all these things, saith the Lord? Other words, my friends, God is saying, what can you build that hasn't already been built? The whole universe is his. He owns it all. He said, what I'm looking for, my friends, is not just somebody who's looking to go to church and never be changed. We got too many folk running to the house of God on Sunday morning. Amen. Been going for years and have not had no change. something about the anointing of God, the power of God, that when you enter and have an encounter with an almighty God, it results in change. Now, some change may not come as quickly as others, but I guarantee you, change is change in Christ Jesus. Can you say amen? I'm looking for somebody who will be the church, who will be impactful, always in producing change wherever you go in the lives of others. That's what Jesus does, my friends. And we are an extension of the Holy Ghost. We are the body of Christ. We are to be impacting change everywhere we go. People's lives ought to be better, not bitter, because we're in it. If every time you walk away from folk and they bitter, you fail to do what God has called you to do. Because we ought to impact people's lives that makes them better, not bitter. Can you say amen? And so many folk are hurt by the church, the people of God, because we have found a way to make people bitter opposed to making them better and allowing them to draw close to the Lord Jesus. Can you say amen? So on the contrary, family and friends, God is looking for a heart to dwell in. He's looking for a heart that is tender and broken. Not one concerned with the externalities of religion. God is looking to dwell in the heart of a person who takes his word seriously. We've got to take the word of God seriously. God allows us to have fun in the church, but God ain't playing with us. No, no. God is for real. He's for real about reaching the lost. He's for real about healing the wounded and the brokenhearted. He's for real about delivering out of darkness and bringing them into the marvelous light. God is for real. He's serious about this thing. And we ought to be serious about it too. 
Hear the word of the Lord, verse 6. I mean, verse 5 of Isaiah 66. You who tremble at his word, your brethren who hate you, who have cast you out of my, for my namesake, have said, let the Lord be glorified that you may see your joy. But it is they who shall be put to and in this season, trying, amen, to convince folk that you love God and that God is on your side. Because for some folk, amen, no matter what you say, no matter what you do, amen, they ain't going to believe God is using you and ain't nothing you can do to convince them. So you let God be God, let God deal with the dead, amen, and you arise and live for the Lord. Y'all missed that. <laughs> Y'all missed that. If it's idle talk, it's dead talk. If it's condemning talk, it's dead talk. Why are you listening to the dead when you're supposed to be among the living? Too many of us are spending too much time listening to folk, amen, who don't know us and don't know our God. And if we're going to be all in this season, amen, we've got to stop listening to the foolishness, amen, and keep our mind stayed on the Lord. His name is Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says, amen, that if a person loves me, he will keep my word and obey my teaching. And my father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home abode, special dwelling place with him. God is in search of you. Amen. We thank God for the buildings made by hand. But I thank God for the buildings not made by hand, by man's hand, but made by God himself. That's you, my friends. And God wants to build his home in you. I said God wants to build his home in you. And he's looking, amen, for a place he can call home. Hallelujah. This weekend at the Potter's House International Ministries, the campus down in Jacksonville, Florida, our spiritual grandfather, Bishop Vaughn McLaughlin and Lady Narlene are hosting this great conference where the theme is changing the spiritual climate, the turning point. If you haven't been listening to it, I encourage you, amen, to get on the website, listen to the message uh, that Bishop preached on last Wednesday, glory to God. Uh, here comes the church, powerful word of the Lord. And then our great-grandfather, Ed Savoso, preached, amen, this weekend, hallelujah, the secret of changing the spiritual climate. He gave us, amen, our four methodology of Christ. Bishop teaches them, he taught us, we all know them, glory to God. In this season of transition, we are children of God and we are the church. Tell your neighbor, here comes the church. Declare that I am the church. We've got to understand, my friends, we are the church. And when people see us, we don't have to bring them to the church. When they have an encounter with us, they are at church. Because the church resides in you. Preach to them, glory to God. Heal them, lay hands on them, and heal the sick, glory to God. Deliver them, glory to God, right where they stand, right there on 3rd and Main, wherever they are, glory to God. Too many of us, amen. Well, I got to, I got to, I, girl, I'm not a preacher. I, yeah, I, ain't, I ain't no preacher. Well, ain't nobody called you to be no preacher. But one thing God has called you to do is that wherever you are and you find somebody down in a pit, that's your pulpit. <laughs> wherever you find somebody struggling in a pit, pit of addiction, pit of hell, pit of sin, pit of lying, pit of jealousy, pit of envy, pit of stress, pit of anxiety, pit of hatefulness, pit of unforgiveness, pit of divorce, pit of whatever. It's an opportunity, glory to God, to pull them out. That is your pulpit. The problem is, 
a whole lot of us sitting up in church. Maybe not this church, but a lot of us in church around the world. We not all in. And so when we see folk by the wayside in the pit, we cross the street. Uh, uh, I ain't got time. I ain't messing with that. Uh-uh. Get away from my car. I ain't got nothing for you. Uh-uh. No, that I ain't got time for that. I ain't got mm-mm. No. You got to go somewhere else. Don't, don't come over here with that. Go, go on somewhere else. You can't, you can't hang around here. And God is saying that if we're going to win the loss, we've got, number one, to get out of our ego. E-G-O. That place where we edge God out. Ego. That place where we think we have arrived and we're better than. And so folk can't sit on my roll, amen, because, you know, you ain't been in this thing long enough. You ain't been through nothing. And, 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 and folk can't, you know, you, you can't sit next to me because, uh, 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 did you take a bath this morning? Uh-huh. And we've got folk, amen, who've been injured in the church because they came just as they were. And when they came, amen, they was ostracized. They was, they was excluded. Amen. They was pushed away. And God is calling for us, amen, to change the narrative that everybody is welcome in the house of God. I said everybody's welcome in the house of God. Our job, amen, is not to fix them. Our job is to love them that God can fix them. Our job is to bring them, amen, that God can minister to their felt need. We're not supposed to chase them off. We ought to be chasing them in, amen, that they can get free from the devil, that they can be free, amen, and enjoy the peace of God and the benefits of God that we are so blessed to enjoy. Can you say Amen. Y'all getting real quiet on me, amen. I'm coming to, I'm coming to a close, amen. But it's have also taught, hallelujah, that we are the church. And he taught us, amen, that we ought to take advantage of this divine relationship that we have. In Luke 10, verse 7 through 9, the Message Bible, stay at one home, Taking your meals there for a worker deserves three square meals. Don't move from house to house looking for the best cook in town. I heard, I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, what I, what, I, what I want you to minister to them this morning is to let them know, stop running the church to church trying to find the best preacher. Stop, stop running, amen, trying to run, amen. I, I, you know, stop trying to run, amen, from church to church, amen, because bishop gone, bishop is gone now, amen. And so now you say, well, girl, I'm going to go, uh, Elder Moss ain't seasoned enough, amen. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going somewhere, amen, where, where I can hear a word from the Lord. No, you ain't going to hear a word from the Lord because the word of the Lord is in the house, glory to God, right here on your doorstep. You interested in the package, glory to God. Yeah, you ain't interested in the Word of God because the Word of God is alive and for real right here at the Potter's house. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. All the Word of God that Bishop has poured out in this house, all the laboring glory to God and sweat and tears he has laid out for over 20 years in this house, you ain't looking for no Word. You looking to get your He said tell them to stay at home 
Stop looking for the best cook in town. Stop moving from church to church looking for the best preacher. Jesus says he is the best preacher. He is the best orator. And if the word of God is going forth, glory to God, sit yourself down and let God talk to you, glory to God. When you enter into a town and are received, eat what they set before you. Oh, Holy Ghost. Eat what they set before you. And look here. And whatever you're eating, I don't care how minimal it is, if you eat it and go out and do what God said, you will touch the sick and heal them. Glory to God. He said, eat what they give you and now go out and be used by the anointing of God and heal some folk and set some folk free. Too many of us can't set no folk free and we ain't trying to heal nobody. Amen. Because we chasing after a dream. Just keep looking at me. You ain't got to. Keep looking at me. I promise you. Nobody will ever know I'm talking about you. Too many of us are chasing after a dream. And we're moving without the instruction of the Lord. We're making decisions based on our own proclivities, based on our own desires, based on our own will. And God is trying to get us, amen, to eliminate those things about us, glory to God, and let the will of the Lord be true in your life. If you wait patiently on the Lord, If you wait patiently on the Lord, he's going to show you great and mighty things. If you move too soon, you're moving without your covering. The covering of the Lord. The covering of the Holy Spirit. Let God be true and every word of man a lie. Wait on the Lord. Be still and know that he is God. He said, when you eat what they set before you, heal anyone who is sick and tell them God's kingdom is right on your doorstep. Is right here. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God is right here. And so the four methodologies of Christ, I'm coming to a close, amen. We are called to bless them. Verse 7, Luke 10. Stop cursing folk, my friends, and start learning how to bless them. Thank God for their life in Jesus' name. Every time you pull up in your driveway, Ed Savosa, our great-grandfather said, you ought to bless the people on your right, bless the people on your left, bless those behind you, and bless those behind you. Pray for every one of your neighbors every single day, amen, and watch what God does in your life and in your community. Hallelujah. Take a few moments, amen, before you get out your car and bless your neighbor. I'm talking about that one that gets on your last reserve nerve. They didn't. They didn't bypass the. They didn't. They didn't bypass the, 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 the. My nerve. Look at. They didn't got on my reserve nerve. God said, "Bless them. Bless them. Pray for them. Believe God for something good in their life." Can you say Amen? Number two, we ought to fellowship with them. Our friends at Kettering Health Network and Kettering Seven-Day Adventist Church at Grandview and Sycamore Hospital and all those folk who were here on yesterday, glory to God, they came, amen, because they didn't believe the lies that folk have said about the west side of Dayton. They came in spite of what they heard. They came in spite of what they know. They came because they love Jesus and they know that the anointing of God, the power of God, the mighty God is present in this house and in this community. And so they came. They came bearing gifts. They came with all their money, glory to God. 
They came with all their resources, glory to God. They came. And when they left, they left all of it with us. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing. See, see, we, see, see that? Okay, I figured it out. Okay, thank you, Holy Ghost. We don't know when to shout. God said, he told those folk to come with all their resources, all their blessings, and to leave it at this house. And we sit here like, God ain't did nothing. Hallelujah. That's the problem. We are the church, and we, and guess what? We too have become numb to the voice of God. We've become numb to the move of God. We've been riding, rolling around, and living in this turmoil, and we've been seeing all this struggle for years. We've been, we've been in this thing, fighting, hallelujah, struggling, glory to God, uh, hallelujah. We, we've, been, we've, been, we've been wearing ourselves, trying to get our kids through school, and all the things that we do, hallelujah, and we've become numb. And when God shows up, glory to God, we can't recognize a mighty move of God. We were blessed beyond measure on yesterday. Our life has been enriched for years to come because of the obedience of the anointing of God on the people of God. This is a relationship that's not just for one day. It wasn't just for show. This thing is going to go on for years to come, glory to God, because of the love of God for you. Are we all in? Or we're just in for a moment to see what's going to happen? Are we all in? Or we're just in, glory to God, just to, just, I'm just going to hold, I'm going to hang around just for a minute to watch the ship go down. I got news for you, my friend. This Titanic ain't going under. This Titanic ain't going under. If God be for us, who can be against us? Greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. God is for us, glory to God. We cannot lose with what we use. This name is Jesus the Christ. Ain't no losing in him. We victorious already. And the ship ain't even set sail yet. We victorious. So we got to bless them. We got to fellowship with them. And they came and fellowship with us, and we were able to fellowship with them. And we seen the move of God yesterday. People, amen, who probably have never been prayed for were prayed on by chaplains and by our, our intercessors, glory to God. Our ministers were able to gather around people in this community right here in this church and prayed over their life, glory to God. And folk walked out of here smiling on fire for the Lord because they believe that if God did it for us, they can do it for them. God can do it for them. Somebody shout hallelujah. So we fellowship with them and then we have to minister to their felt needs. My friends, this is, this is a hard one, but this is true. We can't expect people to want to hear the gospel and they're hungry. We can't expect people, amen, to want to listen to you preach and talk about how holy and glorious you are in Christ and they got a need. Even if that need is an ungodly need. What you talking about, preacher? What you talking about? There's some folk that coming to this church. They hoping, amen, that by coming, amen, when service is over, they might get a dollar or two so they can go out and take care of their need. And they ain't looking for no loaf of bread. But they might be looking for something else. I, I don't know what they're looking for. I, they, it ain't my job to be the Holy Ghost police. It's my job, amen, to show compassion and to show love. It's my job, amen, to make sure, amen, that when they enter into this house, and hallelujah, that the presence of the Lord meets them here. 
and that they know, glory to God, that come hell or high water, God is for them and not against them. We've got an assignment in this house, in this community. We're going to have all kind of folk coming. And I'm not saying we shouldn't use the spirit of discernment, and we should. I had an elder uh, confront me and talk to me about that uh, uh, just last week. We, and we need to listen to our elders and listen to those, amen, who are more seasoned. Uh, how many of you know I got some folk in this church that's more seasoned than I am? But I can't be who I am, hallelujah, if they're not who they're supposed to be in Christ. And so I listen to the advice of my elders, to the advice of the people of God. My bishop, I talk with him on a regular basis. He pour into me, amen, and let me know what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing right. But we need to listen to folk, amen, who are trying to teach us the things of the Lord, that we might be safe, that we might be whole, and that we might do it God's way. But in doing it God's way, my friends, we got to be reminded to get self out the way. And don't injure folk or damage people. Because, amen, uh, we, we, we can't deal with whatever it is that they're dealing with and we want to make some quick judgments about them that might not be true. Well, I remember how it was when I was out there, but they ain't you. You was a manipulator, a liar, and a cheater. That don't mean they are. They might be seriously hungry. They might be seriously going through, amen, and need that dollar to get their child to school tomorrow. Everybody ain't trying to be slick. Come on, Holy Ghost. Like we was word. Are there any slick folks still in the house? Don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand. <laughs> I love it about the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will make you tell the truth. Hallelujah. <laughs> even, even when it might, it might cost you something, amen. I knew he was slick. I knew she was slick. Come on, Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. And finally, my friends, with the four methodologies of Christ, we have to proclaim the gospel of Christ to everyone we meet, letting them know, amen, the good news is available to them. God is able to reach any and everybody. Let me tell you something. I heard a chaplain, dear friend of mine many years ago, Chaplain Robert Brown, when I was in the school of hard knocks, when everybody had turned their back on me and gave up on me and told me I wasn't going to make it, Chaplain Brown, glory to God, pulled me to his bosom. He said, Brother Moss, no man has ever gone too far that God can't reach him. Glory to God. That ignited a hope in me. Because by that time I had begun to believe the lie, amen, that God couldn't use me and I was no good for the kingdom of God. My friends, no man or woman has ever gone too far that God can't use them. Don't be the excuse to why somebody won't make it in because you didn't prejudge them. Don't be the reason, my friend, that folk can't be all in because you didn't exclude them before they even started. Our job is to love them until we can't love them no more. And then God will love them some more. Our job is to let them know that there is still hope for the hopeless. There's still peace for the wayward mind. There's healing for the wounded and brokenhearted. His name is Jesus. And he can reach them. 
if we allow the Spirit to draw them through our love and compassion. Can you say amen? I'm closing for real this time. But I got to share this. On yesterday, they had two bouncy houses over here. And me and my wife, Lady Moss, we took our boys over to the bouncy house. And Sharik was on the bouncy house from last year, Prince Sharik, so he understood what he needed to do to get up that massive wall. But the baby boy, Josue, had never been on that, on that before, but he wanted to go so bad. And he, he cried, and I said, son, you, you're not ready for this. And, and Prince said, yeah, you, you a little boy. You're not, you're not big enough yet. And Josue said, but I am. I am. And he whines about everything, you know, I am. I, I said, well, and so he, you know, and so, so I said, I'm, and in my mind, I'm thinking, he, he's not going to be able to do this. And so I put him up in there. He went through there. He got up in there. And, and he looked, this is the honest guy too, and this is, this is for you, this is for the church. Hear me, let me, let me, let me share this with you. It's going to bless you. He looked at this, for him as a three-year-old, this wall was massive. And he looked up at it, and he looked back at me. I'm standing over on the side, outside the bouncy house. And he looked at me. And he looked at all these kids running in, running past, and they was running up and down this thing, and they was knocking him over. And he, was, and he looked back at me, and he's like, come on, Daddy. Come on. And I said, no, son. You got to do this on your own. Number one, I didn't know as an adult that I could get on the thing. Until I heard a couple of, my, couple, of the, couple of the adults in the church said they got on it. But I'm glad I didn't because this was a teachable moment. He had watched his brother go up. He had watched all these other little kids go up, and he started up. And I, and, and, and I saw the fear in his eye, and this is what I said. I said, come on, son. It's okay. We'll, we'll get it next year. Come on. And God is my witness. He looked at me. He thought about it. He said, no, nah, Daddy. That's what he said, no, nah, Daddy. He turned around, and he put one foot up on one of them things, and he put another foot up on one of them, and he watching them as they go, and he's trying to follow what they do. And, and next thing I know, he halfway up, and I'm praying, like, Lord, please, please hold it. Please watch it. And he up the thing. Next thing I know, he at the top of this thing. Hallelujah. And he went to get up on top and, and crawl over, and he comes sliding all the way back down. And as a father, I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, I'm ready to go in and get him now for real. And he didn't even look at me this time. He got up and got back on the wall. And guess what? He got at the top of that wall and made it over. And the second time he went around, the third time he went around, every time he went around, he got faster and faster and better and better. After it was all said and done, he looked at me and he said, Daddy, I'm not scared. What am I saying to you, my friends? In this transition, in this hour of change, we cannot be afraid of what the enemy is going to throw at us. We cannot be defeated. We cannot be defeated, glory to God, in Jesus' name. I'm not scared. I never wanted to be a pastor. I never sought it, I never desired it, I didn't want it. Never ask anybody to let me preach at the church. Been preaching for many years. Never went to a pastor and said, can I sit on the front row? I sat in the back for three, four years and Bishop said, man, it's time for you to move to the front. I said, no, Bishop, I'm cool. He said, no, God said move to the front. But I told the devil, glory to God, when the call came to me and when God appointed me as the pastor of this great house, I told the devil, glory to God, I'm not scared. I'm not afraid. I'm going to make some mistakes. I may not always do it right, but I'm not scared, glory to God. 
I got the Holy Ghost on me. I got the anointing of God working in me. And I want to encourage you, my friend, if you are the church, you've been selected by the anointing of God, you are part of the body of Christ, my friend, don't be afraid, glory to God. Get yourself up, glory to God. Get yourself together and get in the fight. There's still work to be done. Are you all in? Give God a glory, give God a praise. Hallelujah. All in with a purpose to succeed. The church is on the move, my friend. And God is doing some great things. And he's using you to make it happen. Don't be afraid. Trust God. Allow him to do what he's going to do in and through your life. You're going to be amazed by how awesome a wonder he really is. Can you say amen? All, all minds could stand with us, if you will. We're going to ask the elder to come. He's going to give you the benediction. He's going to give you an opportunity to give and to sow unto the Lord. But I just want to pray with you. I just want to let you know, amen, how much I love you. On behalf of our overseer, Bishop Mark C. McGuire, the overseer of this campus, from our ministerial staff and executive administration, we want you to know, my friends, we love you. We really, truly do. We thank God for you every day. We're praying for you and believing God for you, for your family. And we know, hallelujah, if God's done it before, he can do it again. He's got you on his mind. He's all in for us. We know that's true. When he, he, the Bible says while we were yet sinners, he died for us. It's our time now to be all in for him and to be all in for one another. Can you say amen? Lift your hands unto the Lord. Heavenly Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your holy presence in this house. Thank you for the move of your anointing, your spirit, that is sweeping through this place. Thank you for reviving us again. Thank you for bringing us out to bring us in. Thank you for choosing us to be your hands extended and your feet on the ground in the earth. We might tell a sick and dying world that Jesus still saves. Save, Lord God, from the uttermost to the guttermost. Save from the White House to the crack house. Save that folk won't need Narcan no more but they'll be alive and revived by the word of the living God. We promise to give you the glory. Thank you for allowing the peace of God to rest, rule, and abide upon every household, upon every family member. Thank you for your healing power that's healing bodies and minds even now. We stretch forth our hands in faith touching one to another. Heal, set free, and deliver. In Jesus' name, we promise to give you the glory. We promise we'll do it your way. We're all in with the purpose to succeed. Put your hands together and give God the greatest shout, the greatest praise. Hallelujah! Let him know how much you love him. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't stop praising now. Let's give God glory for Pastor Moss. A powerful word. Hallelujah. And let's give God glory for the word.
and the givers just want to remind you of Bishop McLaughlin's birthday this week we have the bucket on the altar we want to be a blessing to our grandfather in the ministry amen don't forget that we're also having a meeting right after service here in the sanctuary for those who wish to attend the 3040 celebration in Jacksonville we just want to see if we can get help you get your travel plans together and if you're going we need to know so that if in the event anything happens, we can reach you. You can reach out to us. That your arrangement is solid. Amen. Amen. We would be remiss after such a powerful word and a visitation from the Spirit this morning. If we didn't offer you the invitation to come to Christ this morning. That's why we're here. That's why we sing. That's why we praise. That's why we preach. That's why we pray. So if there's any in this house this morning and you don't know Jesus, and you want to receive Jesus as the Lord and Savior of your life, we offer you that invitation. Wherever you are, if you heard the Spirit of the Lord tugging at your heart this morning, and you want to be saved for real, you want to become a part of the family of God, not just the potter's house, but the family of God. We offer you that invitation this morning. We'll wait for you. If you're here, would you come? Everything else is meaningless. Everything else is just show. Is there any young people? The invitation is extended to you as well. You're the future of the church. We need you. Amen. And now if there's one that doesn't have a church home, if you're here and you want to become a member of this family, we are a family. We'd love to have you. Come on down. If you've heard the Spirit of the Lord say, this is where I want you to be planted. This is where we want to use your gifts. To advance the kingdom, we extend that invitation. Amen. All right. Well, now unto him who is able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that we could ever ask, think, or even imagine to the all-wise God be glory, dominion, and power, and majesty from now, henceforth, and forevermore. So I 